Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. So if you're in the neighborhood and say you're at the, I don't know, Roseville Galleria, never seen it this empty before, you're gonna see these beautiful masterpieces right in the center right here. So uh, this is the Roseville Mural Project. It's all done by local artists and it's on display right now. So here to tell us more is Brooke Abrams with Blue Line Arts. Okay, so Brooke, tell us about the Roseville Mural Project and why it's here at the Galleria. So the Roseville Mural Project has been a two-year effort that has been supported by the City of Roseville and the Downtown Roseville Partnership to bring new permanent works of art to the downtown and the greater Roseville area. Um, so these works were created as a part of a two-day competition for local artists and um, this fall when we uh, you know relaunch the Roseville Mural Project they'll uh, become canvases for new artists and new works of art and it's sort of like an ongoing repeatable project. Um, but uh, if you stop by Blue Line Arts, you can also pick up um, walking tour maps for the large scale murals that we have in the downtown. I love that. And so now, um, why did you pick the Galleria as part of the mural project here to have these on display? So this is actually a collaboration from the Arts Council of Placer County and the Galleria. And there are actually other art displays in empty storefronts that you can check out from local artists. And uh, we just thought it was a great way to uh, connect two parts of the city and uh, really uh, promote the We Are Roseville campaign about shopping local, buying local, supporting the local economy. Absolutely. Now you have some ways that people can actually interact too as well, right? Yes, absolutely. If you'll follow me this way, we have our community wall. Uh, this is a word cloud that was generated from a survey to local residents about what community meant to them during the pandemic. And if you come out today between 12 and 6, we'll have some paint pens out and you can color in this giant coloring book wall and add your own creative flair to our community wall. I love that so much. So again, you're just going to fill this wall up until there's no space left, right? which, which looks like there's a lot of white space still. So there's plenty of room, right? Come on out. Everybody is welcome to write a positive message or to you know color in this coloring book page. And um, we also have a representative from Blue Line Arts out here today. If you'd like to learn more about the Roseville Mural Project, if you're an artist who's interested in participating, we're also looking for if you have a wall that needs color, come on out. Um, we can give you some more information about that. Fantastic. I love it. Thank you so much for letting us come out. So, you know, again, if you're in the neighborhood and you happen to be at the Roseville Galleria, which, you know, most of us like to come here, especially on the weekends, come right here in front of JC Penney's. And so you can see the Roseville Mural Project and find out more. So we'll send it on back to you guys in studio. That rug is a really large microphone cover. <laughs> It is. I mean, are you going to dust? Are you going to dust later? I thought it was actually one of these for a second. Like that. Right. Oh, right. The boom. <laughs> like Thanks, KK. All right. Pandemic has taken the toll for children and families ahead. How a series of virtual programs are lending a helping hand to families. And a mother wrapped.